Hello and welcome back to Awesome Toys TV, back to our regular Gumpla news coverage. My apologies for the lack of news update in the last two weeks because my work schedule has just been crazy together with me and Big Pete as well. Now before we begin, this is going to be a bit long video, so if you want to stay through with us throughout the end, please get a beverage of your choice and sit down and watch the video together. The first thing first, the news that I missed last week was of course the advance of Zeta reboot release. Two new kits coming in from Premium Bandai, the Barzam regular version and also the Rezeon captured version as well. I have to say, despite being Premium Bandai releases, the pricing point is pretty good, less than 3,000 yen. Despite the lack of detail too, there is actually quite a lot of gimmick because this is not a reissue, they just pretty much remodel and retool certain parts of the kit itself and I think for the first time in a long time, you can now actually crunch the app of the Barzam. So, very cool looking. I'm definitely going to be getting this once it comes out sometime in September. And of course, today's biggest news, Gundam Build Real. Episode 2 is not out yet, surprisingly. We have to wait until next week for episode 2. So, once episode 2 is out, be sure to catch our review on the show. Now, Bandai has just confirmed that they will be releasing the real grade Zaku Type 2. Oh, sorry, high mobility type Zaku 2 and also the granddaddy itself. As you can see here, I say that it's pretty much the same kit, even though not the full details has been released yet. But I don't think Bandai is going to make any drastic changes to the inner frame or to any of the actual part itself. So this is probably going to be a recolor version of the original real grade kit. But of course, I would like to believe there's going to be something new in this kit. But for now, we don't know what is surprising details. We don't know whether there's going to be, uh, is this going to be a regular release? But it does seem to be a premium Bandai release for these two kits. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately to some of you, Bandai is not releasing the hybrid unicorn banshee, uh, the one that we saw in episode 1. I hope you guys have seen episode 1 somehow, somewhere on YouTube, but this one is not going to be released as of now. Who knows, right? Bandai might change their decision and give us a 1-100 skill version of this guy. So the only two that's coming up is the real great r 2 and also the high mobility type 2 Zaku, right? What is also coming up? Well, this is the new Penelope Clear Color. First production limited package in conjunction with Project Hathaway movie that is coming out real soon. So you can also get this kit if you are in the Gundam Scramble event in Fukuoka. So that's very, very exciting. A lot of exclusive limited edition clear color kits coming out as we speak for the Gundam Scramble event. I, I want to say the clear color Penelope surprisingly looks very good. It is not exactly clear color, but I want to say the white, the red, plus the high bright yellow and orange looks just snappy on this kit. It's definitely a must have if, you're, if you love big kits such as the Penelope itself. If you're in Japan and if you're in Fukuoka, well, Gundam Scramble event is happening and there's a lot of exclusive, very cool looking kits on sale right now. The first one I want to talk about is the high grade Gundam based Fukuoka Limited Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility Destroy Mode Final Battle Specification. Well, quite a mouthful. And 3,740 yen, I would say it's not exactly expensive, but the color combination of bright green together with a very high one-tone red color it is i want to say it's subjective i'm not really liking this color as of now but then again the kit itself may look a lot better in person but unfortunately right now all we get are these official pictures from Bandai. So I'm not a big fan of this color combination. I'm going to be very frank, right? Also coming up in the same color combo is the BB Warrior Gundam Base Fukuoka Limited Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility as well. I know there's quite a lot of Gundam Perfectibility 
fans out there in the market and these guys are selling like hotcakes in Taiwan when they release the regular white and blue version under the Gundam base Taiwan but for now these guys are only available at the Gundam base uh, sorry the Gundam scramble event in Fukuoka so it's hap event is happening until the end of May if I'm not mistaken so these kids are all coming out week after week so plenty to go around if you're a big fan of the unicorn Gundam profitability in this red and high green color combination but what I think most fans will probably want to look for is this new Hello Kitty Zakutu SDCS finally we have a Hello Kitty in Zaku combination and not just the R7-2 but from my experience in building the SDCS clear color Zaku the green isn't exactly that it doesn't have that deep green color effect so the green clear color here is a little bit light uh, Big Pete actually built one before so yeah just temper your expectation if you're planning to get this but I have to say the dark green on Hello Kitty is what I wanted on the Zaku SDCS but hey that's what we're getting um, also coming up in the Gundam Base Limited and also Fukuoka event as well is the SDEX New Gundam vs Sazabi clear color 1430 yen definitely very affordable and I have to say the clear white and the clear red on Sazabi and the New Gundam looks quite spot on but of course this being a SDEX Gundam you have to remember there's going to be quite a lot of stickers that you had to put on for these two kids um, something that I believe I've covered there's so many new Gunpla releases in a couple of months I almost forgot the real great new Gundam is out right now in Gundam base and I have to say the kit looks so much better in person as well believe it or not I still have not bought the real great new Gundam myself because I've been trying to not buy any new kits due to my big backlog but after talking to Mr. Juon last week when he told me he had over 200 plus kits in his collection now I'm thinking maybe my collection isn't exactly that big so I'd be probably looking out to get the real great new Gundam maybe, instead of the titanium version because I think I probably can't afford it anyways. So I have to say it looks really good. Let me know if you guys would be getting the clear color or the titanium finish new Gundam if you have already built the original kit itself. This was shared in our previous video but I didn't actually have any information on pricing or details or when it's going to be coming out but we finally have it. This is the Gundam Base Limited Freedom Gundam version 2.0 silver coating. We've seen somewhat of the official picture release a couple of weeks ago but looking at the kit itself in person, I have to say it looks pretty sexy. The two-tone silver finish with the uh, high gloss and also matte finishing. It seems like there's also a mixture of grey color finish into the kit as well. This Master Grey Freedom 2.0 is definitely very good looking. Even though it's a you know two-tone silver and grey finish, it looks really good. The only issue I have with this kit is the price, right? 9,900 yen. It's not exactly cheap, but then again, given that this is a limited kit event, hopefully we will be able to see this in Southeast Asia Expo events in 2022. So yeah, he's hope hoping that the distributors, Mr. Lita, will actually bring this kit into the country. Now, of course, the biggest news today that everybody's talking about is how the live Gundam movie that's supposed to be out in theaters since the project was first announced early last year you know there's been so little information coming up we didn't know who was directing it we didn't know who was going to be in it and what is the setting or you know century the movie is going to be it's going to be on earth it's going to be in space in mars nobody knew anything but today finally we get news that the movie is moving indeed towards to netflix so obviously Number one, good job to the team in Netflix for buying the rights to screen the show on Netflix. There's been some rumors that initially Netflix also wanted to buy the Godzilla vs Kong movie, but that didn't actually pan out. So I think, you know, Netflix got a pretty big solid here as well for Gundam. Gundam is a global well-loved IP. So if this movie is not going to be in the cinemas, at least we'll get to see it in 
Netflix, which is going to be accessible across the world except China. So that is a big question mark as well, right? They're trying to penetrate China, but Netflix screening of the new Gundam Love Action movie is not going to be available in China. When is the movie coming up? Nobody knows. Who's going to be in it? Nobody knows. All we know is the director, uh, Robert John Voight, Jordan Robert Voight, sorry, I can't get the name properly here, but he was the director of the original Kong Skull Island movie, and he is a big fan of everything Japanese IP related as well. So he's also coincidentally the director for the upcoming Metal Gear Solid movie. So how is he gonna split his time between these two big IP franchise movie in production at the same time? That is gonna be interesting to see how it goes. Hopefully this movie is gonna be coming out soon. Um, whether it's gonna take place in the universal century or not, and who is going to be the cast is going to be going to the movie hopefully we'll get more details and we'll share with them share with you guys sorry on this channel as soon as we get it and while this is not new i finally got my hands on the premium bandai high grade hades toad straighter i'm sharing with you my unboxing i have to say i really love the design of the toad straighter but in terms of what was in the package I wasn't expecting that hard wire as you can see here. It's bendable, but it's definitely a lot harder than what I've seen before. In terms of details, well, the kit itself has some form of detail. There aren't really a lot of details on the kit itself. But what was disappointing to me was I actually got a lot of stickers instead of decal. So yeah, I am not very happy with the actual colors that's been given for the Hades Toad Streeter. So what I'm gonna be doing with this kit well, I'm actually handing this out for a commission bill. So once I actually get a kit back from a guru, a big old timer guru who's building this kit, I'll be sharing the final build details with you. So stay tuned for the video coming soon in the next couple of weeks. Now, before we go, I also want to talk about as the Gundam World. Episode one premiered last week, and I have to say the first episode was quite surprisingly good compared to the previous series and season episode one was full-on action pack it's a continuation from last year's series but this time around they introduced a new protagonist that's going to be leading the charge and it's going to be all about Sun Wukong who is the main lead character from the journey to the west so it's going to be interesting to see how Bandai or oh sorry Sunrise is going to make the entire series a little bit more action packed compared to the previous season where it's a little bit more uh, on comedy and also talking to move the story along. What was surprising to me was the Sergeant Verde Buster Gundam. That guy looks really good and very cool in episode one but what was also a bigger surprise to me was the actual packaging of this new series itself remember last year all the art box was done in 2d but this time around they decided to go with a 3d look which i think definitely looks so much better compared to last year's box art of the sd, SD gundam kids uh, i know there's not a lot of big gundam SD Gundam fans here, but for me, I think this year's SD Gundam series is definitely worth checking out. If you like action pack series, there's something new in the formula this year. So it's not the same old formula that we've seen because this time around, the main lead character, which is the Sun Wukong Gundam, is actually able to transform into the big gigantic ape, as we know from the journey of the West. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Um, this is a long overdue Gunpla news catch up. We will be interviewing a few more Gunpla builders and collectors in the near future. So do stay tuned to our channel and subscribe so you don't miss out. And we'll try to give up a lot more news update as soon as possible as when they break. So Gonna Build Real is gonna be coming out next week and I will be sharing my review on episode two once I see it. But for now, a very big thank you to all of you who have been supporting and following our channel all this while. I really can't thank you guys enough. And to all of you who are fasting in the month of Ramadan, a very big, uh, you know, happy Ramadan for you guys, right? So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment down below. I'll try and reply back to you as and when I can. But thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and remember, self-care is important in this crazy time. So do take care of yourself. Do some gunpla. And if you need any help, 
check it out in the comment section below just ask for help we'll be there to chat with you right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video soon